As we pick up the voice of Mark Nolte doing the ring announcing in the ring, joining you here tonight from the Radio Wrestling Network of Doral King and John Michaels. And Doral, John, it's nice to have you here in Fort Hood. Thank you very much, Steve. It's nice to be here. And one reason I asked you to come by, I know you were doing your radio broadcast from across the way. I wonder if you can fill me in any on the information we've gotten about Kamala being stolen from Akbar. Well, sir, we've been following professional wrestling all of 1985, part of 1984, and that has been, that's been one of the questions that we've been putting to ourselves the past few months, whether or not Kamala is under an influence of heart and Hussein. Well, I think the, the main factor, John and Steve, is that Hussein speaks the language of Kamala, and I think that that is a big contributing factor and the fact that money talks. That's why we came here tonight, Steve. We know that for a fact that Hussein does communicate with Kamala, the first person, I think, ever that has been able to do that, communicate with the giant Ugandan. And I think that there, there's, there's rumors floating all around everywhere that, that the reason Akbar that Akbar has not been able to communicate with him and hasn't had that much control and now the money situation comes becomes involved with Hart and Hussein and that ability to communicate. Well, I've been trying to we hear the crowd cheer for the Tonga kid. I've been trying to get the information out of H and H Associates for two weeks and I've been trying to get them to allow me to interview Kamala, but that don't seem like they're gonna do that right now. Well Kamala you, we saw we saw Friday try to control Kamala all of 1984, 85. Friday couldn't do it, and now that I think that, that since Hussein has been able to to reach a, a communicating process with Kamala, has convinced Kamala that Akbar hasn't been doing what Akbar should be doing with Kamala. Well, we're going to keep checking into that, and I'll be talking to you guys in just a minute. Stay right here with me, Doyle. It's nice to have you here. We go back over here. And Talk to Ox Baker. You're looking at the wild Samoans and the very exciting Tonga kid, Ox. Well, you know, I think Texas All-Star Wrestling should be. Shut your mouth when I'm on this tube. Well, I'll slap you right upside of your mouth, you big long-haired dude. Well, Ox, Ox Baker yelling at the Samoans. You know, the Samoan is the type of guy I think might be able to stand up to the punishment I could. I don't think he can put out as much punishment as I can put out. And this young kid, this young kid, I believe I could hurt him. I'd like to see him on the ground after one of my heart punches. Well, you never know. You're allowed to get a match with the Tonga kid. Ox, we want to thank you for coming by, and we look forward to seeing you. What do you here. mean? I'm not going to leave here. Do you want me to leave? Well, not that I want you to leave, but we've got a very important six-man tag team match. Plus, I have some other great guests over here. Well, they're just going to have to wait because I'm going to do a little talking here myself. Well, Ox Baker refusing to leave, but we're going to go to the ring. Oh, we've got an exciting six-man tag team match. The new Texas six-man tag team champion, Sika, and the Wild Samoan with him, and the Tonga Kid against the new Diablos and Mike Golden. This is going to be a great match, Steve. There's no doubt about that. The Texas six-man championship titles. Uh, the titles are not on the line on this bout, are now, they? This is a non-title match. It is as Mike Golden starts against that wild-looking small. He's a big one, isn't he? You're not kidding there. He is. That's the great Coquina. Whoa! Well, they got hard heads. Look at that. He, he, he takes his head, throws it into the turnbuckle himself. Says, Mike Golan, that's not going to affect me at all. Oh, the people love to see Golden get chopped down. Coquina grabs him, brings him up to the center of the ring, slams him down. That's a bad place for Golden to be into the song again to Samoan's corner. You're not kidding. That is not the place that Mike Golden wants to be. Fantasy looking very concerned over there also, That's, calling him back to, to she knows her she's corner. in trouble. There's a snap mare. The great Coquina. I want to tell all you fans that Texas All-Star Wrestling cameras will be at the Hemisphere Arena this Sunday, the 23rd, for the Battle of the Stars. Come on out. One of the big matches you'll be seeing, Al Halcone defending his USA Junior Heavyweight title against this Golden Boy. Plus, the Tonga Kid against Austin. I don't want him. McDaniel will be there. 
to take on Bruiser Brody and a lot more. That's at the Battle of the Stars. We're going to be there. We hope you are. Here's the Tonga kid. He's really taken Texas by storm. He certainly has, and the fans are behind him all the way. And, you know, John, it's easy to see why these men are the six-man champions of Texas. I believe Mike Golden is probably feeling the pain right now. He is, he is bitten off of just a little bit more than he can chew at this point in the match. And he makes the tag now. New Diablo. Well, the New Diablo's from Mexico, and the Tonga kid's still in the ring. Let's go back and talk a little, about, a little bit more about General Skandor Akbar. He won't say much other than that Kamala has been stolen, but he won't say by who, he won't say what's been involved. Well, we know where Kamala is going to be under the auspices of Hart and Hussein. I don't think there was any sort of thievery in the deal at all. Kamala maybe, and finally, with knowing the information that he knows, being able to uh, have received it from the, uh, Hussein through the communication process that they're using. I don't know what language they're speaking. It's not a, it's not a dialect uh, that I believe that anybody's familiar with. Of course, uh, I don't even think it's Ugandan. I, I don't know where Hussein got it, but he's been able to get through and communicate, making it known. Have you, either one of you two, talked to uh, Gary Hart about this situation? Well, Gary Hart doesn't seem to want to talk about it to anyone other than the fact that you will see oh what a what a wild match this has turned out to be oh this and Tonga, the Tonga kid. kid is just he's working them all and look at that the Tonga kid single-handedly just cleared the ring he really excites the crowd here at the abrams gym in fort hood texas this Tonga kid is something else texas all-star wrestling you'll see the best in the world right here we're talking about Hart. Hart doesn't seem to want to say anything uh, about about the Ugandan warrior other than that Kamala will be here and will be under the management of Hussein and Hart. We might see a different Kamala this time, a Kamala that can respond to the managerial processes of Hart because of the communication. Well, I'm sure we're going to see a different Kamala when and if he ever shows up here on Texas All-Star Wrestling. All you youngsters watching the Tonga Kid, remember, wherever Texas All-Star Wrestling is held, it's only $3 for kids. General Mission, come on out. It's oh. the big Samoan Sika. Oh, this guy, look at him. Oh, headbutt right into the sternum there. Now big body slam. Down on the new Diablos. One hand. Boy, did he throw him down on that mat. Covers him up with that face lock from in front. Sika, the wild Samoan. Oh, when you talk about Samoans, I think everybody thinks of this man right here. You're right. He is, he is the dominant force of the team. He tags out to the great Coquina. Of course, using that tag to their best ability, they've got the five count to release him. There's the sling across. Big elbow. Sends the new Diablo down. Well, the great Coquina grabs the Diablo and has that front face lock applied to him. We want to tell you this time that announcers tuxedos here on Texas All-Star Wrestling is furnished by SNS Tuxedos with four locations in San Antonio. SNS Tuxedos. Also, Doyle, I don't know whether you were listening last week, but there's a possibility that Texas All-Star Wrestling will be doing some television taping down at Gillies, the largest nightclub anywhere in we've, Pasadena, Texas. We've heard about that, and I think that, that is going to be some kind of exciting time down there at Gillies. Well, speaking of what Gary Hart would, wouldn't say, he would talk about Gillies, and he did say a lot about uh, the good times he had down there and uh, Texas All-Star Wrestling going and being in Gillies. Uh, well, we're looking forward to it if it ever all works out. We're taking this Tonga kid down to Pasadena and put him in Gillies. I know the fans down there would love him. They ride bulls down there. They do everything at Gillies. Now they're going to be wrestling with Texas All-Stars. I think it's great. That's John Michaels and Doyle King from the Radio Wrestling Network, and we're trying to get what information they got about the Kamala situation. We made a special trip down here, Steve. We made a special trip to tell you because we knew that you guys needed to know about Kamala. And I think that we're the only ones that know about the communication. Well, we've been following this thing all around the uh, Radio Wrestling Network, a nationwide network broadcasting to radio stations all across uh, the greater United States area here. 
as we said, we've been following this thing for several months now, trying to get down to the bottom of it, and we're in Fort Hood tonight. Well, we're going to oh, stay here. Boy, look at this. What a big drop kick. Sends one of the new Diablo over into the corner. A little kick towards Mike Golden there. And once again, the Tonga Kid clears the ring. Tonga Kid, like a stick of dynamite. Delight him, and he goes off. Boy, oh, this kid is something else. 19 years old, that gentleman. Stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen, because the excitement of this Texas six-pound tag team kid is in the ring with one of the new Diablos. Oh, the fans uh, calling calling out and chanting at the referee that there was a switch made. Of course, you know, that's, that's probably fairly easily done with one referee and six big men in the ring. And, of course, fantasy is always right out there calling the shots for these guys. Well, these new Diablos look so much alike, it's really hard to tell when they do switch. That's right. You don't know which man has been the, the man on the out, the ring apron resting. You don't know which man has been the one legally in the ring. You know, they could almost pass for twins. They're so much the same size, and it doesn't seem to be any way to distinguish one from another. That's right. Next week here on Texas All-Star Wrestling, you'll see the Tonga Kid against Austin Idol and Al Halcone will defend his USA Junior Heavyweight Championship against the Golden Mike, Mike Golden. All that coming from the Battle of the Stars at the Hemisphere Arena in San Antonio. Whoa! We're going to be there to capture the action for you with all the cameras of Texas All-Star Wrestling. That was just a two count. A double headbutt of some sort from the Samoans. Channing we to remove mask. that mask. They want the new Diablos exposed to, to see who these men are. Oh, the fans here at Fort Hood have had a great time with Texas All-Star Wrestling, and we want all you fans to enjoy Texas All-Star Wrestling when it comes to your city. Even if the television cameras aren't there, this is the kind of action you get. Did you see that? There's another two count. And one of the Samoans picks up the new El Diablo. Looks like he wants to go in for uh, some more punishment. Big close line Boy, after the single cross. These guys really work as a team. Oh, really? Tag in, tag out. They're in, out. They work their opponent. And look, he's not gonna, he's not gonna finish it. The Texas six-man champions with the Tonga Kid bouncing on that bottom ring rope there, uh, egging his partners on for more punishment. He could have finished it. He could have finished it a while ago, but he was going to go for that mask. He tried to go for the mask. Referee broke it up. New Diablo rolls outside. Well, he tried to roll outside. Didn't quite make it. But for a man that big, that Samoan moves so quick. Now he makes the tag to the Tonga kid. Tonga kid coming up to the second rope. There it is. Whoa! He got him right in the rib cage that time. Now the Tonga kid has the head of the New Diablo between the legs, and he rings his bell. Close kick on the Diablo and Mike Golden over there as the kid came over, and he's running around the ring with them. If you're wrestling the Tonga kid and standing on the ring apron, you got to watch him because he's so quick. He is so fast. This has got to be one of the most promising and rising stars in the wrestling world today, the Tonga kid. There's a double swing across, double backdrop. Oh, that's Samoan. Look at the size of this guy. Yeah, that Tonga kid, there's no doubt about it. Well, Samoan wanting to put the bare foot where it doesn't belong. You know, Diablo has got to be worried about there. There's a kick right, right across one of the buttocks muscles there. By I think you'd be worried too, man. You're not kidding. <laughs> Whoa! Comes another backdrop on the El Diablo. Well, the wild Samoan locks that leg. Don't forget, all you youngsters, wherever Texas All-Star Wrestling is held, kids' tickets, only $3. Come on out and enjoy the action. You're watching this Texas six-man tag team champion. This is a non-title match. The champions are the Wild Samoan Sika and the Great Tokita with the Tonga Kid. Oh, what a leg split right there. I do believe that the new El Diablo is looking for some way, any way he possibly can, to try to get a tag right now. See, oh, what a hit! Right into the lower abdomen, the El Diablo, and it doubles him over. Look at him just writhing in pain in the ring there. Here's the cover in one and two, but not enough for three. He pulled him up again. It was enough for three, but he doesn't want to finish it yet. He wants to deal out some more punishment. Well, you 
see the great Kokina tagging out now, and he tags out to the Tong again, and they clothesline him, and the new Diablo is down right in the center of the ring. Look at that Tong again fly. He must have jumped five feet up in the air to deliver that, that elbow drop. And you know that that has got to hurt El Diablo than one of the new Diablos. Having some trouble. He hadn't had a tag in over five minutes. Now there's a tag and Golden comes in. Oh, the people want to see Golden get in there. They want the Tonga Kid to take care of the Golden. Look at the crowd. They're up and yelling. Tonga Kid is saying, this is who I want. Well, Golden is not in too big a hurry to get in the ring. Fantasy outside the ring. Golden looking a, a bit worried, wouldn't you say, John? I think he does look a little, uh, just a slight bit worried there. Finally, they, they do make the wrestler stand, spin off the ropes there. Oh, all right. Oh, well, Golden, the Golden, Golden strut. Hey, he thought that was pretty slick, grabbing hold of the rope and not coming back. You can't deal Mike Golden out. He does have ring savvy. Ever yeah, watch the Tonga Kid. All Golden did right there is make the Tonga Kid a little matter. Tonga Kid locks up with Golden. Golden comes out with the arm bar. You push into the ropes and then sling across, and Golden's ready for him, but now Tonga oh, Kid pulls the same move and stops and does his own little. Yeah, a little bit of your own medicine. Right. Well, this youngster has taken Fort Hood. I'll tell you that. Everywhere he goes in the night, he is really taking this crowd here. The body gyrations of the Tonga Kid, reminiscent of, of break dancing, I would say, Mr. King. Yeah. Well, these guys have been battling 15 minutes in this television main event. Maybe a little longer than that. I tell you, oh, what a hammer lock. What a counter move. Did you see that? He's going for the push-up out of the wrestler's stance into the ropes, came up with a hammer lock, got the tag, and these guys, there's no doubt about why they are the Texas six-man champions. What a suplex, the big one. The Wild Samoans, and that they are. That's the great Coquina in there now. Golden gets him with an uppercut. He may got him with a low blow. Oh, oh, scrape across the eyes, those laces of the boot there. Head into the turnbuckle. The new Diablos are right there pounding on Coquina, the Samoan. In comes the Sika. Oh, a choke over the top rope by the new Diablos there. Golden, the legal man of the ring. Here comes the great Coquina. Golden catches him. Who's that? Who's that? Well, some lady has run out of the crowd and got after Fantasy. And now she is going back into the crowd. And a choco by Golden. Oh, I don't know. Somebody come running out of that crowd. In the ring, Golden has the great Coquina. Here come the other Samoans in to help out. As and it's all pounding. six men. All six men in the ring at the same time. Of course, Coquina taking the worst end of this stick as he's having to battle all three while the referee tries to, to keep some peace over in the other corner and get the two legal men in the ring together. Here comes Golden back in now. Golden, looks like you put a thumb to the throat there, Steve. Almost as much action outside of the ring as inside as the oh, fans. Oh. Good what close a, line there. Golden got a knee to the Tonga Kid, knocked him out of the ring. Golden, what's he going to try to do with the great Coquina? No, I don't think Here he'll be able to Samoans. do this. He's going to try a catapult into Here the ring the corner. Kid. The kid's up on the top oh, rope. What a dive oh. on Golden in one, two, he's and three. He's got the three count on Mike Golden. for the Tonga Kid and the Wild Samoans as they come flying through the air. And the Tonga Kid and the Samoans win it all. Thank you and John for being here. Keep me informed whatever you can to find out about Kamala. <laughs>